I'm often asked, why would we even consider buying Como? Why Como? You take a look at the stadium, it's decrepit, it's falling apart. You've got a historical issue with the ownership groups that have either gone bankrupt, have disappeared, have skipped town in the middle of the night. There's a lot of things that have happened to this club. The challenge we have specifically with Como is that you've got a luxury market with working class people. You've got celebrities, high net worth individuals. George Clooney and Obama. The most affluent among the affluent coming to Como, but the people who actually live here and the people that work here don't necessarily reflect that. The challenge is to have people uh, to trust us. Fans that may feel that this is not their club anymore because it's become the club of the pop. <sighs> At first it was frustrating. I mean, every day you'd, you'd come in and it was a lawsuit or a complaint or somebody that hadn't been paid. It was just one thing after another. Corruption, mismanagement, lack of funds. It was very frustrating. Despite some of the threats, the attacks, the, the warnings, we're not backing down. We're not going to let people extort us, threaten us, or try to bully us in any way. Solo uno fuori. We've been aggressive, borderline rude, in fact, to those that have come after us. We don't know if they're going to come back after us. The concern is that it's the calm before the storm. If I sign these, we have a team. Yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. We had no players on July 1st. Can, can, I, can I ask what he went to jail for? Uh, hiring a getaway driver? It's a mixed bag. It's like everything. You've got good guys, you've got bad guys. We try to limit ourselves to working with the good guys. That was the worst time in my life. Just young and stupid. You don't ever want to wake up in the morning wondering if you're going to get caught. That's not our way of winning. We want to win the right way. I can't, I can't play the blame game. I will not, I cannot, it doesn't work for me. You want to be the guy, you want to be the man. You take the responsibility, you take the accountability, and you do your job. Every morning when I wake up, what terrifies me is that I start to believe. And the day you start to believe, and you, you start to get too emotionally invested, is the day that you start losing perspective. There really is never that point at which you, you feel comfortable taking your foot off the pedal. Am I frustrated like every other job? Yes. Do I get tired? Do I get exhausted? Do I not want to talk about it anymore? Yeah. But would I trade it? No way. No way.